this is my vlog number three. It's Preston. Um, I received a can of peas, which was edible until it got to like maybe after like one quarter, one third of it, it became really bitter and inedible, and it stopped tasting like food. And I was like, that's weird. So I stopped eating it. Um, I have to go to the food bank. Um, they keep asking me why I need bus tokens, and I'm like. Where do you think I'm supposed to stay? I can't go outside because of coronavirus because everything's closed and the signs, are, even the public signs are like you can only stay at the park for like a very brief period of time until you get what you need to do and then leave and I'm like yeah because of coronavirus and then it's like and they refuse to give me a shelter space and there's a phone here but it's like broken and I can't even use it and I'm supposed to call like the shelter referral stuff but I'm like I don't know if they're even gonna have a referral because everywhere's on lockdown or something Sorry, that was me. Um, okay, I, I get where the hate might be coming from. I figured it out. Which is... Um, so basically, there's this... Um, there was this guy that I met at university. And I didn't know this at the time because he never actually talked about it to anybody. And, well, at least not me. Which was a problem, and he was like really upset over his breakup with his ex. And I thought he was lying because I thought he was like psychotic and he like stalked really hot girls and he just made up stories all the time about how he used to see them and stuff. Turns out he actually wasn't. She didn't take him seriously because you know what? I don't even blame her. I couldn't even take him seriously either after what he was like. I'm like, but uh, to be fair, it was because he broke up after and he was going through a breakup, so he was in the best shape. But at the same time, I'm like, why are you blaming me for your breakup? I don't even know this girl, right? And I thought he would made her up, but no, she was an actual girl. I met up, I met up with her at a different party. Later, like we never actually talked. We were in the same university, but in the same grade, and um, one of her acquaintances actually ended up working at the same bar as me during the summertime. And that's how we all kind of loosely know each other. <laughs> we don't actually talk. I don't have their numbers or anything. Um, I remember briefly like getting really drunk and like meeting a bunch of like girls that she knew that one time at that party I think or like a bunch of girls came up to me and told me that they knew Alice or something that was her name my name is Chantel and the other girl's name is Amy so it's three of us we're all Korean and we all kind of know each other because we all went to the same school and <laughs> um, I didn't know that he got cheated on I was just making fun of him because he was being so stupid and retarded and I was like, look, this is you. <laughs> and I was like, why the fuck is he so sad? And it turns out it was because he got cheated on. Yeah, he was like really heartbroken over it, but I'm like, I kind of know the type of person he is and he's kind of a piece of shit. Like, he wasn't really that piece of shit back then, but he wasn't a good guy and he ended up raping me and stealing from me. So I'm like, you can't even say anything anymore because you just... This is why she cheated on you. You know, she was expecting you to do these kinds of stuff, which is why she cheated on you, left you. And she, like, you, I'm pretty sure, like, you said some stuff to upset her. Because if you're the type of person to rape and steal from somebody that cares about you, then obviously you weren't having the best relationship with her and you said some stuff to set her off. Right? Like, obviously it's not the right answer to cheat on somebody. That's wrong. I know that. Everybody knows that. Why would you cheat to end the relationship? That's like destroying that relationship. You'll never be easy with that person again or that person's friends. Who would want to do that? You know, those are valuable relationships that people have with other people. So why would she do that unless she didn't want to be with him and didn't want anything to do with him and didn't want to be friends with his friends? But why? I don't want to do that, but it's because he ripped and stole from me and all his friends were like that. They supported that kind of stuff or just didn't believe he did that and said it was my fault and I made up this entire story. Who, all of whom were white, by the way. <laughs> Oddly enough. She was Korean. I was Korean. He was Russian. He was born here, I think. He's not very Russian. And I was like... Yeah, what the hell happened? And it, it turns out he got cheated on by her. He was going through PTSD because he got cheated on. Like, he was like, emotionally distraught. And his response was to take his anger out on every Korean girl that he meets. 
like every hot Korean girl and I was like I didn't know he got cheated on and I never met Alice before in my life but we it, it looks like we tag team each other we didn't it just looks like that because it seems like we knew each other and we were talking behind each other's back and we just like erased all of our text messages so nobody finds out that we were playing then look we never actually played that guy i'm sure she was just as upset as i was about the stuff that he was doing to her and i was upset about the stuff that he was saying to me it was really mean and <laughs> obviously it would upset anybody like i'm not gonna just like sit here and lie about what's happened he wasn't a great guy and like, on top of his problems he just his goals in life was just to make as much as money as he could he just wanted to be a whore and i just i get that it might have been probably because like his perception was probably affected because his girlfriend cheated on him or something or his ex-girlfriend but like to be fair she was way out of his league and i think he was pestering her to go out with him and i'm like look Dude, I get that, but it's like you guys aren't even from the same culture, and you know what? Unless you two, you two are married, like I know this sucks and this sounds like what assholes and douchebags do in like America, but in Korea, if you don't marry that person, the relationship is basically nothing. Like they're not really gonna care about you or like want anything to do with you if you're not married, and they can see how well you're adjusting to like couple life, and if you can't handle couple life, then how are you gonna handle married life? You know, that's like extreme couple life. <laughs> like, if you can't even handle the fact that you have to talk to your girlfriend every day and call her every night before you go to sleep, then no, you can't be married. Like, that's obvious, I think, to everyone. But maybe it's a Korean thing. Like, I know that's specifically a Korean thing. On other cultures, they like to stay in contact and be friends with people they have sex with. We think those are pigs or dogs like it's disgusting <laughs> but yeah uh, it, it looks like that it looks like we planned it and like we just destroyed his life with it. we actually did it you know i'm like if you're watching this can you pay me back already holy shit how much money do you need you know how much money you owe me did you even figure that out yet oh who's been lying to everyone about me calling all the shelters I'm saying that blah 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 blah. She owes me money, blah blah blah. Her and this girl Alice are tag teaming, and we're just like, nah, 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 nah. I'm like, no, we didn't do that. It was coincidence that we were both Korean, and maybe we responded exactly the same way to you because we're both Korean. Ever think of that, Confucius? Yeah, because he's so deep and wise and like cheap. Yeah, that guy's a cheap bastard, but. Who's gonna marry that? Like, at least no Korean woman would, I think. That's not really marriage material. But. Me and Alice were not in on it together. We didn't know each other. We never met each other. Except for that one time at that party where we both got really drunk. But. He kept on going on and on about her. I'm like, who is this girl? Like, I don't care. Are you, like, still hung up over her? Can you get over her already? Hello, we're supposed to be drinking right now. <laughs> Like, not that I don't care, I mean, I guess obviously because he's my friend or whatever, but at the same time, it's like, okay, Nick, like, you've talked about her, like, for the last, like, two hours, like, do you want to go see her? Because then I can go hang out with my other girls, and we can have a fun night out without having to hear about your sad soft stories about why Alice cheated on you. Like, honestly, like, and it, it's so bad, it's, it got really bad, honestly, and I'm like, I'm, I don't blame her for cheating on him, because you know what, if I could, I would do the same thing, but I just let it play out, you know, I just let him do his thing, and he just destroyed on his own, relationship, he just didn't want to be near me anymore, I'm like, okay, you said it, it's straight from the horse's mouth, <laughs> he said, I don't like Chantel, I think she's a crazy bitch, and I hate her, I wish her the worst for her. all my enemies combined and i wanted to make up rumors about her and show everyone how much i don't like her like a 12 year old girl this is what 12 year old girls who like get jealous of new girls at school would behave like i just also realized something um
when the cops get far from being a cop, what job do they get after? Nine more. Now I always wondered. What if that guy that owns the convenience store like just got all that money from working as a cop for the first 15 years of his life and then quit and then opened up a convenience store? What was that? Did they like quit and then pursue their dreams or something? Like have goals which is just like being the world's best painter or like being a teacher or whatever I don't know. but yeah it looked like that okay it looks like me and alice were in on it chantal and alice were in on it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh my god Scouts on her. What is it? Scouts on her or something? <laughs> that one, I don't know. I don't know her. <laughs> um, but there's one picture that I had with her. I deleted because I got rid of my Facebook. And all the pictures on Facebook and all the tag photos of okay. it. It's gone, okay? Nobody searching my old photos. I hate it when people do that shit. I know. Facebook tracks its users and it has them on a database somewhere in a separate storage location. But <laughs> I am saying, please don't search on my old photos because it's not, you're not gonna find it online. You don't have to go to Mark Zuckerberg and ask him, hey Mark, can I access this user's Facebook photos? And you're gonna be like, no. <laughs> Why do you need to know that? No, you could ask Mark Zuckerberg. Maybe he'll say yes because it's an open investigation on some girl's party history. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got rid of all of it because I don't want people to know what I was doing, which was studying and making friends, and people are gonna copy that. So I'm like, no. <laughs> Me and Alice were not in on it together. Please. I feel like a lot of people. Are, I'm like, what is this dream telling me? And I think a lot of people are trying to imply. Then me and Alice were actually very close friends and we were in on it together and this is what we're doing, but we weren't. Okay? Mm mm mm. Uh -uh. Yeah. <laughs> that is it. That's. <laughs> That's my story about this idiot who owes me a lot of money and refuses to pay me back. And if he gave me back the money, I could use it to pay for processed dog food and get food for myself. And not be starving on the streets. Thanks for nothing, Nick. You are a suka and so is your mom. <laughs> Literally, like honestly. Worst group of people I've ever never met. They're trying to exploit me the entire time. Like, they're complete exploitation. Shameless, you know? And not very Russian at all. Very Canadian, actually. You should know I'm suspecting he wasn't actually really born in Russia. I think he was born in Canada. And just hung around with a lot of Russians. But, yeah. I'm like, yeah, it was kind of fucked up because, yeah, he should have been upset about his ex cheating on him. But maybe she should cheat on you because you're that type of guy to exploit innocent girls who just want to help you and love you. And you couldn't see past your racism because your ex was Korean and this girl's Korean and you think like, oh, it's going to be the same shit all over again and then you just couldn't get over yourself. It's your fault, Nick. Everything in life that's happened to you was your fault and you still owe me money. It's not my fault and it's not Alice's fault, okay? I don't know what happened. I know for a fact he pisses people off and he's kind of a piece of shit and he's so worthless. He's human trash, basically. But, like, I don't know why she even chose to go out with him. Look, I have a feeling, honestly, like I said before, he was probably pestering her. And she's probably like, fine, if I show you that we're not getting along on the first date, will you stop asking me out? And then uh, he just never stopped stalking her since then. And he finally stopped stalking her when he started to hang out with me and he started stalking me. And then he ended up in a significant debt and nobody really likes him and all his friends are trash and not very human. They're inhumane. They're like, they're really dumb too. 
so yeah well I'm glad that I don't have to talk to them anymore yeah and I stop please it's just it may seem like it doesn't even look like that actually I gotta be honest it doesn't look like we were friends at all. Like, I never met the- I don't even know what a major is. But anyway, yeah. 